Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss the load and resistance factor design method of designing a reinforced concrete one-way slab based on e-structural design Zen found on the App Store. Sum up all the dead load from self-weight of slab, floor finish, and partition if any, then get the live load from minimum occupancy load guide to get the factored load. Check the assumed slab thickness for deflection control as per ACI code. Enumerate input parameters required. Name of slab like S1, CS1, length of span, slab thickness, main bars with size and grade, temperature bars with size and grade, strength of concrete, and design loads. Select moment formula based on support type like simply supported, one end continuous, both ends continuous, or cantilever. After solving the maximum moment, Get the concrete beam design ratio Rn, then solve the reinforcement ratio rho, and check against rho minimum required per ACI code. After getting the rho value, proceed to solve the area of steel of main bars and its equivalent bar spacing, and solve the area of steel of temperature bars with its bar spacing. Finally, test the shear strength by getting the nominal shear force from factored shear force and resistance factor, and which should be less than the shear strength capacity of concrete. Design recommendation format for both end supported slab as follows. Design criteria, which includes FC prime and FY, length of span, thickness, main bars, and temperature bars. One-way slab detail. Design recommendation format for cantilever slab as follows. Design criteria, length of span, thickness, main bars, temperature bars, and optional bottom bars. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.